So let's check out the ARP Max for Live MIDI effect. Uh, if you have Ableton Suite, you can download this free pack, Max for Live Essentials for free. And inside of it, under Max MIDI effects, we can find the ARP. So right here, I have a basic patch of a wavetable, just a sine wave. And I'm going to load the ARP. Now, the ARP is kind of an arpeggiator sequencer. And it can do many more things beyond what the built-in arpeggiator is capable of. So first of all, let me create a clip here. And we're going to put a note, a chord. Let's put like F minor 7th. Let's add a 9. And let's uh, stretch it all the way. Let's make it uh, 2 bar long. And let's play that. Let's bring everything octave higher. Okay, nice. Now, first thing we can notice is that when we play it, it's continued from the last place it uh, stopped. So we can uh, reset or re-trigger the arpeggiator by turning on the retrig. And now it will always start from the same place. Nice. Here we have the speed of the arpeggiator or the sequencer. We can turn it into triplets, dotted notes. And by default, it follows the BPM of our project. If I change the BPM of the project, also the BPM of the ARP will change. But we can unsync it if we want to be free running and create some very interesting polyrhythms. We can also add swing here. And if I play it, and I want to just hold the notes so I can focus on setting up the arpeggiator and my synthesizers and effects, I can just turn on hold after holding the notes. Let it go, and now we're just going to hold them and play them forever. Let's stop that because we have the clip going. Nice. Here we can decide how many octaves it actually go through. So zero is just one octave. two octaves, three, and here we can decide how it's actually moving between those octaves. So going down in octaves, or going up, up and down, or random the octave. Nice. Now, the notes are going to be played by default of in the order we play them. So let me play, for example, or a different order. But we can change the order of the notes from right here. So up, down. Let's do down and down. We can do a chord. So whatever we uh, hit, it's going to trigger a chord. Random the notes. Or follow the octave order. So it's got, just going to follow these settings. And here we can also transpose the entire uh, sequence by semitones. Let's go back and play the clip. Nice. Here we have three sequencers. One is first of all for velocities. And we need to set up the synthesizer to actually uh, have velocity affect something. So let's go, for example, to the matrix or to the MIDI. And here we're going to turn off velocity affecting the volume. And let's have the velocity affect the oscillator position. For example, let's take everything lower. So we can see the last notes, the wave table position is going higher. We can of course apply more things, like maybe the filter to the velocity, or the filter frequency. Nice, underneath we have the active steps, so we can actually disable steps that we don't want. We can even limit of how much we want this sequence to be, uh, how was the length. Let's 
go back to 16. This entire thing we can randomize with the random button. We can also set the range of the randomization. Next we have the length of the notes. So let's make one note really long and we're going to go back to the synthesizer, make it monophonic with some glide. So we can hear the glide right here. So that's the length of each note. And lastly, we can manually map another sequencer by clicking map. Let's map it to the send of the, the send B to send the delay. So now we have another sequencer that allows us to map to anything, in this case to the send. Here we can also set up an external uh, MIDI CC if we want to send it to an external synthesizer or have it control in MIDI in some way. And lastly, right here we have the advanced tab. And let me stop it. We actually need to um, uh, enable the advanced tab. And now the octave will just decide how many steps we have for the this uh, step sequencer. I'm going to hold one note. Let's enable all the steps. And now we can decide for each step what's the octave. And what's the semitones? So the advanced tab allows you to have up to six steps uh, sequencer incorporating all those other uh, sequencers values like velocity, length, and the custom mapping. So the ARP is an extremely powerful uh, arpeggiator that is an alternative to the built-in arpeggiator that we have in the MIDI effects. You can get it by downloading Max for Live Essentials, and there's a lot, a lot of things you can do here uh, that incorporates more kind of classic step sequencing rather than simply just arpeggiating. Check it out, experiment, there's a lot of amazing stuff you can do with it.